Welcome to this lesson in the course, friends. We're going to focus on finding the midpoint of a segment in three dimensions. So draw an axis going this way first, then draw an axis going straight up, our z-axis, and then an axis going to the right, our y-axis. As always, remember, this is x, this is y, and then this here is z. But in here, place a segment. Now, the way you draw the segment might make it harder or easier to understand the concept. It kind of depends. So you can imagine really that the segment begins at the origin and then basically leaps out of the page straight at you. But that's obviously impossible to do, so I'm just going to kind of draw this instead. And somewhere on this is a midpoint. In other words, a point, probably visually speaking about over here, you see, that divides the segment into two equal pieces. We would like to know the coordinates of that point. So if you label this point as follows, x sub 2, and then y sub 2, and then z sub 2. Then we can label the starting point, but you know what, I'm just going to move this. So basically a segment hanging out in three dimensions. I'm going to label the other point there as x sub 1, and then y sub 1, and then z sub 1. So that's the starting point. What we would like to know is the location of the midpoint. So to do that, you simply average out the x and the y coordinates. General idea then, general idea. In other words, it's not an application of something really new is just take the average of each coordinate this is what I mean you're gonna do x sub 2 plus x sub 1 and then you're gonna add them and divide by 2 that's just the average of the x coordinates then you're gonna do y sub 2 plus y sub 1 divided by 2 just just the average of the y coordinates and then you're gonna do here next z sub 2 plus z sub 1 over 2, that's just the average of the z coordinates. That's all it is. So here, as an example, imagine we have the point 1, 2, 3. We'll call that our first point, and then imagine we have some other points, say negative 5, 6, and then 7. You want to know the midpoint of the segment that connects those two points. So you basically proceed as follows. You would do 1 plus negative 5 so at first it would look like this, 1 plus negative 5 divided by 2, comma, then it would look next as 2 plus 6 divided by 2, and then it would look like 3 plus 7 divided by 2. So then you work out each value. So 1 plus negative 5 is 1 minus 5, which is negative 4 over 2. This would be 8 over 2, and this would be 10 over 2. That's skipping steps. So lastly, we would have negative 2 as the x-coordinate of the midpoint, 4 as the y-coordinate of the midpoint, and lastly, 5 as the z-coordinate of the midpoint. There you go. So this is how you think about this. Now, when I'm talking about averages, the way to imagine this is there's a segment. Imagine it goes straight down to the x-y plane below. So this here would be the value of the y-average. And then this here basically would be the average x-coordinate. And then up here, roughly speaking, you would have the average z-coordinate. You might label these as xm. That means the x-coordinate of the midpoint. You might label the other one there as y sub m. That simply means the y-coordinate of the midpoint. That's why the m is present. And the last one there we could label, for example, as z sub m, which just means the z-coordinate of the midpoint. And that's how you think about this kind of question. Thank you so much for watching, friends. Please leave a like. Please subscribe. I will see you in another video.